Another listener has a question along the same line. This is one that you might have asked yourself when we were going through our study in 1 Corinthians. Her question is, is a carnal Christian really a believer? Are they truly born again? She has a friend who loves no one and yet claims to be a Christian. Well, may I say it? It's along this same line. It's possible to be a believer and be a carnal Christian. I think, frankly, that the average Christian today thinks that normal Christian living is living a carnal life, trying to keep a few little rules and regulations and not living in the power of the Spirit. And as a result, why we have a very low level of Christian living today, and that's considered normal. I don't consider it normal at all. And I'm not saying these folk are not saved. I frankly believe they are saved, but they are carnal. And Paul said that. You remember the Corinthian Christians? He says, you're carnal. And that could be said of a great many Christians today. It could be said of a great many churches, I think. Now, this party apparently prides herself in that fact that she is a carnal Christian. May I say to you that a child of God who does not want to please God has something radically wrong with him because it's normal for a child of God to want to please God. And the Lord Jesus put it on that kind of a basis that if you love me, keep my commandments. Now, if you're a child of God, You'd love him, and if you love him, you'd want to keep his commandments, and that is the normal way, and they can only be kept in the power of the Spirit, as you say, to love the brethren. Now, some of the brethren are very difficult to love. It takes a lot of grace to love some Christians, but I do believe that if you're a child of God, you want to love God's children, and you'd want to please God in that connection. Frankly, I think I'm being presented here with something that is more than a paradox. It's a contradiction. Is it possible for a person to continually live in a carnal state and be a Christian? Well, I do know this, that there are great many that profess to be believers in Christ, and yet they are living as carnal Christians today. And I can't go beyond that. I'd like to say that that's not true. You can't be a carnal Christian and be a child of God. A carnal Christian is a contradiction in terms, but it's not a contradiction in terms at all. And over against that, there is the story of the prodigal son that the Lord Jesus told. Now, that boy got in the pig pen, but he didn't stay in the pig pen. And I do not believe that a child of God will live in the pig pen of this world, live in carnality. And I think that you're presenting to me that which is a contradiction in terms, not a paradox, but a contradiction, that you're trying to say that you can be carnal and be a Christian. I don't think you can deliberately do that. You can ignorantly do that, and you can, in a weakness, get into the pig pen, but you're not going to stay in the pig pen. The son happened to have the nature of his father and not the nature of a pig at all. And this is something that I think is very important, and that's the reason I've dwelt on it as long as I have. 